Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Okay, first thing I want to say is about the Hukum Namah. When Guruji speaks, we need to listen. Even if you don't understand, you might understand something. Yeah? I understand we're all learning. I don't understand all, all the Hukum Namah, but I understand some bits. Yeah? Because we come to Gurdwara to see Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So when Guru Granth Sahib Ji actually speaks to us, which is the Hukum Namah, we need to try to listen and try to understand something. Maybe when you guys are a little bit older, you can also find it on the computer. Or maybe if, you, if somebody knows Punjabi well, they can listen, they can find it on the computer so everybody can understand, read the translation. It's very important. That's how Guruji speaks to us now, yeah? Because Guru Granth Sahib Ji is our Guru, isn't it? Yeah? And remember about the, all the Gurus, there's one, one light going from one Guru to another Guru to another Guru. And where is this light now? Where is the light of Guru Nanak Dev Ji now? Where is it? Hanji? Um, Guru Granth No, it's in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The light of Guru Nanak is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So when Guru Granth Sahib Ji speaks, when somebody is reading the Hukum Namah, you need to be quiet and listen. Yeah? Because that's... Remember all the lessons from the, all the Gurus. Listen to what your Guru tells you. If you don't even listen, how can you follow it? Okay, so let's, let's carry on with the stories about the Gurus. We've done up to Guru Ram Das Ji. Today we're going to do Guru Arjun Dev Ji. But before we start Guru Arjun Dev Ji, let's have some questions about the previous weeks. So my first question is, who remembers what was the city that Guru Amar Das Ji started? I give you a clue, it's got 84 steps going down. Anybody remembers what it was the name of the place? Behind you at the back, year five. Uh, Goindwal, well done, Goindwal, Goindwal. Each guru started their own city. Yeah, Guru Nan Dev Ji was Kartarpur Sahib. Guru Angad Dev Ji was Kadur Sahib. Guru Amar Das Ji was Goindwal. Guru Ram Das Ji, which city did Guru Ram Das Ji start? Hanji. It was Amritsar, very good. It was Amritsar, I didn't actually say that last week. But he started Amritsar, very good. Second question. If you think of the word Jet or Jetha, who is that in your family? Who is Jet in your family? Hanji. Could be husband's brother or could be older brother. Older brother. Very good. Okay. Number three. How were Guru Amar Das Ji and Pai Jetha Ji related? How were they related? Hanji. I think they were um, nephews. Not nephews, no. No, I do remember. Not brothers, no, Hanji. That's right. Guru Amar Das Ji's daughter, her name was Bibi Pani. Very good. She was married to Pai Jetha. And can you imagine Bibi Pani Ji? She was daughter of the Guru, of the third Guru. She was wife of the fourth Guru. And who was their son? Who was son of Bibi Pani and Pai Jetha? Hanji. Guru Arjun Dev Ji. Isn't that amazing? Yeah? yeah? I kid you one minute. And the last, uh, last question is, what is opposite of ego or pride? We learned this word last week. Hanji. Nimrita. Very good. Nimrita means in English. How do you say Nimrita in English? Hanji. Humble. Humble. Yes, good. So ego is home. Yeah, home. And Nimrita is humility. Very good. Okay. So Guru Arjun Dev Ji was born in, the, in an amazing family. He was actually the first Guru who was born in the Guru's household. Yeah, all the previous Gurus, remember, they were just student or they, they f found out about the Guru. They were not related. But Guru Arjun Dev Ji was the first person who was the Guru who was from Guru's household. Uh, from very beginning, when Guru Arjun Dev Ji was born, there was something special about him. And one time there's a story that Guru Amar Das Ji sit, was sitting on the manji and baby Guru Arjun Dev Ji came in playing with a ball and the ball rolled in into the room where Guru Amar Das Ji was uh, meditating. And Guru Arjun Dev Ji start, came to the manji and started shaking it like this. 
And Bibi Paniji run, run in, he goes, sorry, sorry, it's, uh, it's your grandson. It's called Doeta, yeah? In Punjabi, it's called Doeta. And Guru Arjun Dev Ji, uh, Guru Amr Das Ji said, Doeta Bani Ka Boheta. Do you know what's Bohit? You say it in Ardas, you say it Kalju Ke Bohit. Do you know what's Bohit? Yeah. Do you know this words in Ardas, you say it Kalju Ke Bohit, Naam Ke Jahaj. You say it every day. Yes, Gurpreet. Say again? Ga no, it's not a game. It's the gift, no, it's not a gift. An other word for bohit is jahaj. Jahaj. Hanji. Uh, yeah, it can be airplane, it can be a boat. Yeah, so bohit is a boat. So Guru, Arjun, Guru Amr Das Ji said, Doeta, my grandson, Bani ka boheta. He is a boat of Gurbani that will carry all the people across their life. Because they say in Gurbani, they say that this world is like an ocean of fire. Because there's so many things, there's so many desires, people want this, that, this, that. And it's like burning, yeah? It's like burning, there's so many things going in this life. But with the Guru, it will carry you across this ocean of fire on the boat of Bani. That's what Guru Amar Das Ji said about Guru Arjun Dev Ji when he was just a little baby. Who is this person, last person on the far away? In the, in the doorway. Who is, who is that? Guru Ram, Guru Ram Das Ji. Do you think he was called Guru Ram Das Ji here? No. Remember he started be, being called Guru Ram Das Ji when he became a Guru. But on this picture, Guru Amar Das Ji is still a Guru. So this was Pai Jetha. Yeah? And who is the lady? Hanji. Bibi Pani. Yeah? And you can see all of her family. Her father, her husband and her, her child. Okay, so Guru Arjun Dev Ji was the youngest son. He had two older sons. The eldest one was called Priti Chand. Okay, Priti Chand. And the second one was called Mahadev. In the middle one, Mahadev, he, was, he wasn't really interested in the world at all. He would just do meditation day and night. He wasn't really interested in the world at all. But Guruji tells us, you still have to be in the world. Because all the Gurujis, they're married, isn't it? They all had children, they all had wives. You still have to be in this world. You can't just go away in the mountains and meditate. You have to stay in this world. And the old eldest brother, Priti Chand, he started very well. He was doing loads of seva. But do you remember with seva, do you need to go around and say, I've done so much seva, I'm so good? Do you do that? No. Yeah. N what do you need? What do you need? What Guru Ram Das Ji had it. Hanji. Mm, there's a word which we learned. Mm, Hanji. Say again. Nimrita, Nimrita is good, yeah, Nimrita. In the Nimrita, when you, when you do Seva, you can't become Hankari. Hankari means, what does Hankari mean? Showing off. Showing off a proud, yeah? You can't be proud, you have to do it with Nimrita. So Priti Chand, he started to get Hankar. He started to get very proud. He thought, I'm doing so much Seva, I'm so good. I'm just like Guru, Guru Ram Das Ji, I'm just like Pai Lena Ji was. I'm doing so much Seva, I must be the next Guru. He was hoping he was going to become next guru. And he was becoming very, very proud. So one day there was a wedding in a city far away in Lahore. And it was Guruji's, Guru Ram Das Ji's cousins. Um, his brother's daughter or something or son was getting married. And they said, Guru Ram Das Ji, please come to the wedding. Bless us with your presence. But Guru Ram Das Ji said, I can't actually go. But maybe one of my sons can go. So he said, Priti Chand. Come, would you go to the wedding? I want you to go to the wedding. But Priti Chand was afraid to go because he thought, if I'll go, Guru Ram Das Ji might make Guru Arjun next Guru. But I want to become a Guru, so I'm going to say no. So, instead of saying Sadbachan, he said, Guruji, uh, sorry, I've got loads of other things to do here. I'm going to take care, do this seva, that seva. I can't go. So, then Guru Ram Das Ji, sent his youngest son, Guru Arjun, yeah, Arjun. He sent him Arjun Dev, he sent him to the wedding. And Arjun Dev said he didn't want to go, but he didn't say no, he didn't say to, no to his Guruji, he said, Sadbachan, I'll go. And then he went, and it was really, really long time, maybe seven or eight months that he was away, seven or eight months. And Guru Ram Das Ji still wasn't calling him back. So Guru Arjun Dev just started writing him letters. Can somebody read to me what it says in Punjabi? Anji. 
Shabad Hazare. Very good. Anybody heard this word Shabad Hazare before? Okay, some people heard this word. It's actually a part from Guru Granth Sahib Ji, but in actual fact, it's letters that it's four letters that Guru Arjun Dev Ji wrote to his dad. And the first letter he wrote, he said, you're so beautiful, I can't wait to see you. He sent this letter, and when the messenger came to Guru Ram Das Ji, Priti Chand was there. And he said, oh, what's this? He goes, it's a letter from, Guru Ar from Arjun Dev to Guru Ram Das Ji. And Priti Chand said, oh, give it to me, I'll give it to Guru Ji. So he took it, and guess what he done with it? What do you think he's done with it? He didn't give it. He put it in his pocket, in his, in, in his waistcoat, and he didn't give it. He actually read the letter, and he said, wow, this sounds like Gurbani. If Guru Ram Das Ji reads this letter, he will definitely make Arjun Dev the next Guru. But he wanted to become Guru himself, so he hid the letter, didn't give it. To him, didn't give it. When Guru Arjun Dev Ji didn't, he didn't hear back from his dad, he got really worried. He said, why not? Why is he not replying? He said, wrote a second letter, sent it off, and the messenger again got intercepted by Priti Chand. Priti Chand again took the second letter, hid it. And he actually, Priti Chand told the messenger, he said, go back to Arjun Dev and tell him that our dad, Pitaji, Guru Ram Das Ji, doesn't want him to write any more letters. <coughs> when Guru, Guru Arjun Dev Ji heard this, he said, this can't be true. My dad, Guru Ram Das Ji, couldn't have said these words. It must be something else. So he wrote a third letter. And when he wrote the third letter, he put number three on it. And he said to the messenger, give it directly to Guru Ram Das Ji. Don't give it to anybody else. Give it directly to Guru Ram Das Ji. So then Guru Ram Das Ji received the letter, third letter. He read it and it was so beautiful with so much love. And he saw that there's number three on it. So he said, this is third letter, but where is the first and the second one? I started finding out, called the messenger. He said, did you bring the first and the second letter? Yes, I did. Who did you give the letter to? Priti Chand. Then they called Priti Chand and said, where are the letters? Well, Priti Chand was, remember, he, was, he didn't want Guruji to read these letters. So he said, oh, I don't know, it's been a long time ago, I don't know where it is. So they said, go to Priti Chand's house, take his waistcoat and find in the pockets the letter. They got the letters and when Guru Ram Dasji wrote, read these letters, they were so full with pure love. He said, call my son straight away back. Call him back from Lahore, I want to see him. And when Guru Ram Das Ji called him, Guru Arjun Dev Ji came back, fell down at Guruji's feet. And after that, straight away, Guru Ram Das Ji made him the next Guru. Do you think Priti Chand was very happy about it? No. Priti Chand still carried on making loads and loads of trouble for Guru Arjun Dev Ji. Yeah, we're probably going to talk about the stories of the, when the Gurus already when Guru Arjun Dev Ji became Guru, we'll talk about this later on. Now we're telling the stories of how each Guruji became a Guru, yeah? So, after this, Guru Arjun Dev Ji became a Guru. And we know Guru Arjun Dev Ji for a few things. Do you remember the Guruji song? Do you remember our first Guru is Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Remember this? Remember the fifth Guru is like this. What is that? What do you think that is? Anji. Opening the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, Put the Guru Granth Sahib Ji together. First it was called Ad Granth. Yeah. Ad Granth or Adi Granth. Ad means same as Ang Ad. What's Ad? We had this word already a few times. Anji. The beginning, yeah. The initial, the first Granth, Ad Granth. Also built Golden Temple. So, yeah. Okay, guys. We've done five Gurus so far. And if you look at them, they each has a beautiful quality that we, we learned from them, yeah? So Guru Nanak Dev Ji was connection with Wahiguru and Nam, yeah? Guru Angad Dev Ji was the true Sikh, yeah? Remember Sadbachan, never said no, never said why. Guru Amar Das Ji, true Seva, yeah? The true meaning of Seva, selfless. Guru Ram Das Ji, Nimrita, pure humility. And Guru Arjun Dev Ji, which one was today? Which one did we say today? Hanji. He done Adigrand, but quality. What quality? Pure love. Pure love, yes. Pure love. Okay? So, what I want to tell you is that each guru, in their story of how they're becoming guru, is teaching us a beautiful lesson. Of, this is all the lessons of Sikhi. Yeah, if we look at every guru, 
These are the parts of Sikhi, of how to be a real Sikh, yeah, from the lessons of the Gurus. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Next week, we're going to do Guru Hargobin Sahib Ji. If you sit together straight, please. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.